BMW's groundbreaking engine, a game changer in the world of electric vehicles. Imagine a car brand that delivers superior performance and incredible driving dynamics, all without a hefty price tag. That's BMW for you. This brand has a rich heritage of designing top-tier IC cars, like the straight-six engine in the M30, the S14 found in the first M3, or the 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8 in the M5. But this legacy is now in danger. While other automakers are racing to electrify their cars, BMW seems to be quietly navigating a different path. By pricing the Model 3 to directly rival mid-size luxury cars, such as the BMW 3 Series, the 5 Series, Mercedes C-Class, CLA, and Audi's A3, Elon pulled a very smart move. A quick look at this chart by Statistica for 2022 shows just how fast EV makers are catching up. Now, back before COVID, Tesla sold approximately 100,000 more electric vehicles than BMW sold electrified vehicles in 2018. 245,000 versus 143,000. In 2019, Tesla more than doubled that lead thanks to the Model 3, 367,200 versus 145,800. The same thing also followed in 2020 and beyond. Musk has been laughing while the rest of the market has struggled. But hold on to your seats because BMW is not going down without a fight. Rumors are swirling around a new revolutionary engine from Munich, an innovation that could turn the tables on the EV industry. Shockingly, it's not electric. When will we see this new engine in action? Is it really better than EVs? And how does it work? Get all the answers you need in these 10 action-packed minutes. We promise we're not going to waste your time. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now let's dive in. The hydrogen-powered game changer in a sea of EVs. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. BMW, the German maestro of motoring, is flipping the script on automotive technology. Back in 2021 at the IAA Munich Motor Show, they revealed their secret weapon in the battle for emission-free mobility, a hydrogen-powered engine nestled inside the shiny new BMW iX5. See what Jürgen Goldner, the head of BMW Hydrogen Fuel Cell Tech said. Now we're talking about a hydrogen vehicle, which is an electric vehicle. Okay. It drives electrically with all the advantages of electric drive that you can use as you're used to using cars today. You go to a gas station, gas up in three to five minutes, and you're done. Okay. You can keep going. You don't have to plan your life around an electric charging. So we went through all the safety features um, extensively to make sure that this is a very safe system. Now, after nearly five years of development and testing, BMW has partnered with Toyota to launch a small pilot fleet of 100 hydrogen-powered vehicles. BMW is not the only brand who is working on this technology, but what's important is who does it first and makes the best engine out there. BMW isn't new to the hydrogen game, having dabbled in the field before with their E65 and E66 models of the 7 Series. Those early prototypes ran on V12 engines, guzzling both gasoline and hydrogen. However, the range was woefully short, a mere 80 kilometers on a whopping 50 liters of hydrogen. But that was just the opener. Fast forward to today, and BMW has upped the ante with the iX5, boasting a hydrogen fuel cell that's not just efficient, but eight times better than those early prototypes. BMW's iX5 promises an astounding 504 kilometer range on just six kilos of hydrogen. That's a long leap from their previous attempt, and it's all thanks to the magic of fuel cells courtesy of Toyota. Under the hood, the iX5's fuel cell churns out a steady 170 horsepower. Add in the lithium ion battery that contributes an additional 231 horsepower, and you've got a system that delivers a whopping 295 kilowatts, perfectly matched to an electric drive rated at 401 kilowatts. Here's the catch. The i5 cleverly uses its fuel cell like a DC charger, constantly feeding electricity to the battery. The electric motors usually draw from the battery, but when the full power is needed, both the battery and the fuel cell jump into action. As long as there's hydrogen in the tanks, the iX5 just keeps going and going. Some reports have revealed that BMW aims to start mass production in Munich, Germany later this year, and has even hired a dedicated team of 900 experts. But the iX5 isn't just flexing its muscles, it's showing off some serious smarts too. 
With two hydrogen tanks that can be topped off in less time than it takes to make a sandwich, it laughs in the face of EVs and their snail-paced charging times. Here's where it gets interesting. The iX5 hydrogen doesn't just want to join the EV party, it wants to crash it. EVs might be the current poster children for clean energy, but they've got baggage. Hello, rare earth metal depletion. The big problem with EVs. You see, amidst the growing clamor for sustainable mobility, EVs have been heralded as the next big thing. This transition is primarily driven by two pressing issues, dwindling fossil fuel reserves and the escalating environmental crisis. Major automotive players like Mercedes and Volkswagen have already declared their intentions to go all electric by 2030 and 2026 respectively, spelling the gradual demise of their existing internal combustion engine models. However, BMW stands as a lone dissenter amidst this tide of change. The BMW CEO staunchly believes in customer choice over regulatory dictate, advocating for consumers to choose between an ICE vehicle and an EV. But the key question here is, are EVs truly the zero emission knights in shining armor they're made out to be? The blunt answer is a resounding no. The concept of a zero emission vehicle is a bit of a misnomer. The process of manufacturing an EV, particularly the battery, has a significant environmental toll. For instance, the creation of a 450 kilo battery involves excavating 200,000 kilos of material and consuming 100 to 300 barrels of oil, only to store energy equivalent to one barrel of oil. The carbon footprint associated with the manufacture of just one battery is staggering, resulting in 10 to 40 tons of CO2 emissions. The larger the battery, the heftier the emissions which is in stark contrast to the relatively lower 35% emissions in the production of an ICE car. Nonetheless, many nations are joining the EV crusade, influenced by aggressive targets and regulatory bans. US President Biden, for example, has set a goal for half of all new electric cars to be electric by 2030 to rival China, the current EV world leader, manufacturing 70% of all global EVs. In light of this, it's clear that while EVs represent a crucial step towards sustainable mobility, they are not the silver bullet solution they're often portrayed as. The challenge lies in striking a balance between technological advancement, environmental responsibility, and consumer choice. The Hydrogen Highway Major automakers join hands with BMW. Toyota, Honda, and BMW, among others, are investing substantial resources into hydrogen, viewing it as a viable alternative or complement to the EV revolution. The Japanese automaker has been working on their H2 engine for over two decades, and its efforts have been proven by the Toyota Mirai, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle that emits only water vapor. The Mirai, which means future in Japanese, aptly represents Toyota's vision for a sustainable automotive industry. Honda, despite its slow uptake on EVs, has made impressive strides in the field of hydrogen fuel cells. The Honda Clarity fuel cell stands testament to this, offering an impressive range and quick refueling times, characteristics that are more akin to traditional ICE vehicles than EVs. These companies, together with others like Hyundai with its Nexo and General Motors, which has announced its Hydrotech fuel cell system, are banding together in what could be seen as a collective effort to diversify the future of mobility. But why is this engine so good? EV battery production requires rare earth metals like lithium, whereas FCEVs just need hydrogen which is one of the most abundant materials on Earth. Heck, it's one of the most abundant materials in this solar system. Hydrogen as a fuel source emits zero tailpipe emissions, the only byproduct being water vapor. This is a stark contrast to internal combustion engines that emit harmful pollutants such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. Even compared to electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles emit zero emissions during operation whereas EVs still rely on grid electricity that may be generated from fossil fuels, thus indirectly contributing to emissions. Moreover, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have distinct advantages over EVs in terms of refueling times and range. While charging an electric vehicle can take several hours, refueling a hydrogen vehicle takes just about the same time as filling up a conventional gasoline car, typically under five minutes. Furthermore, hydrogen has high energy density. This means it can store and deliver more energy than a battery of the same weight. 
which is particularly advantageous for heavy-duty vehicles like trucks and buses that require large amounts of energy just to get moving. But the question arises, how does it all work exactly? Well, the process might sound complicated, but let's break it down into simple steps. Step 1. Storage Tanks Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have two tanks that store hydrogen gas. These tanks are highly durable and designed to handle the high pressure of the stored hydrogen. Step 2. Fuel Cell Stack When you start the vehicle, hydrogen gas from these tanks is directed into something called a fuel cell stack. This is where the magic happens. Step 3. Chemical Reaction Inside the fuel cell stack, hydrogen molecules are split into protons and electrons. The protons pass directly through a membrane in the middle of the fuel cell, while the electrons are forced to take a longer path, creating an electrical current. Step 4. Electricity Generation This electrical current is harnessed and used to power an electric motor which propels the vehicle. Step 5. Combination with Oxygen on the other side of the fuel cell stack, the protons and electrons are reunited and combined with oxygen from the air to form water, which is the only emission from this process and is released as vapor from the vehicle's tailpipe. Step 6. Battery Assistance Similar to hybrid electric vehicles, FCEVs also have a battery on board. This battery stores excess energy produced by the fuel cells, for example when the demand for power is low, and provides additional power when needed like during acceleration. Step 7. Regenerative Braking FCEVs also utilize regenerative braking. This means when you brake, the electric motor works in reverse to convert some of the kinetic energy lost during braking back into electrical energy, which is stored in the battery. BMW isn't just daydreaming about this hydrogen future. They're banking on it. They're betting that hydrogen refueling stations will become as common as EV charging points. Imagine a world where you could switch from an EV to a hydrogen car as easily as changing socks. BMW is playing a high-stakes game here. They're not content to follow the EV trend. They're blazing their own trail. How BMW of them. And while the iX5 hydrogen is only just revving its engines, BMW's audacious move has already sent shockwaves through the entire industry. Despite these advantages, it's important to remember that this isn't a competition between hydrogen and EVs. It's about finding effective solutions for energy generation and storage. As of now, hydrogen production is largely dependent on natural gas, and the process itself is energy intensive. On the other hand, the materials used in EV batteries like lithium are not infinite and have their own environmental concerns. Therefore, the key lies in continuing research and development to make both technologies more sustainable and efficient. Ultimately, a diversified approach that includes both EVs and hydrogen vehicles could be the most effective strategy for a cleaner, greener future. So here we are, at the cusp of a new era in emissions-free mobility. All eyes are on BMW as they gear up for this hydrogen-powered adventure. Get your popcorn ready, folks. This is going to be one hell of a ride. With this, we put an end to the video. So tell us, do you think BMW's new engine will be a hit? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button.